Howdy feathers. Hope everyone's having a swell morning, afternoon, and evening from where you are, I reckon. Since y'all demanded more of me coming from the reception of my return, I'm gonna give you what you want, feathers. We're here playing one of my favorite PlayStation games there ever is, Super Puzzle Fire 2 Turbo, but it's the RK version. Okay, just uh, let me get my virtual quarters here so we can get ourselves started. There we go, failures. We're gonna go one player at normal mode because that's the way it is. So if you're asking, which one's my main favorite for this game? Well, simple failures. It's gonna be Ryu since he's the one of the ghosts and the only one that matters to nobody else. As you see here, we're gonna be fighting the Cinco Girl, which I assume is gonna be easy pickings for yours truly. <sighs> Stinky is pronounced as Cinco, not Cinco. Oh, what's the difference, failure? They all sound the same to me. The H at the beginning of Hisinko is not supposed to be silent. And one, it's Hisinko, not Cinco. Tomorrow, tomorrow, failure. Stinky, you're an idiot. Well, if you're gonna be that way, then I might as well turn this game off and end this episode because you clearly don't deserve to hear my masterpiece of a voice with a snarky attitude like yours, I reckon. So if you want to keep me on your channel, failure, sit down and let the master do the talking. We go on that failure? Fine, whatever. Now, what was I when your dad got me interrupted me? Oh, yeah. I believe we're going to win this before we even started. And Lucas, don't ask me how I know that because I just know. It's not just facts, that's reality, failure. Well, speaking of which, I did kind of thought of doing a Stanky Peterson plays on AEW Fight Forever at first, but once I got the knack to watch me summon this Super Puzzle Fire 2 Turbo gameplay on YouTube, I just totally had to get this game on my list to do for Lucas Channel and whatnot. But I promise you this, fellas, we will still do AEW Fight Forever, this I reckon. Now we're gonna be fighting against me, fellas. You just saw what I did to that Sanko girl not too long ago, and now you're gonna watch me take this one be me to school like he belongs here, I reckon. And just to make sure it's a different me, we're gonna call him Stumpy, all because his hand looks like a stump. By the way, fella, the video you're watching today is sponsored by Yahoo Sona. Just drink it. Thank you, we're not sponsored by Yahoo Soda. This video isn't sponsored by anybody. Heck, Hibiki had to remind Terry over and over again that his videos isn't sponsored by Coors Light, and our videos isn't sponsored by a fictional make-believe drink. Well, I'm telling you, we're sponsored by Yahoo Sona. Just ask the executives themselves. They'll tell you it's true, Fowler. Look at this. We're already cooking high and mighty, fellas. I reckon we're gonna cook them like poke salad. Now I think we might have another win in the book. <laughs> yeah, you ain't looking too good right now, Stinky. He's about to catch up. Well, that's alright, fellas. Ain't nothing to worry about when Stinky Pearson goes to work. See that? No sweat. You see the problem, Mr. Feller, is that you got too much to worry about. Man, this sure turned to a barn burner. Haven't really felt this tan since Helga and her sister competing in that Dance Dance Revolution thing going on in the arcade at one time. After rather. Yeah, you really screwed up that time, Stinky. You forgot to flip the blue and red orbs over. That way you would have gone. 
Don't tell me how to play this game, feller. I know what I'm doing. By the way, I want to give a quick special shout out to Lucas' best friends over on YouTube. Wonderful fellers I want to mention since they're all going to get a free Yahoo soda way in the mail if they see this. Stinky, for the first time, Yahoo soda does not exist. Yeah, look, look at that, you just lost. Shows what your big mouth gets you. Don't be blaming this one on me, feller. You're the one I should be blaming on since your constant yapping forced me to lose my daggum concentration, feller. But you know what? It's alright, feller. Won't be me, just got lucky, that's all. I mean, anybody can be anybody at any time. The only thing I'm gonna do is call his fluke because that's what Stanky does. You know what, feller? I never quite got what that plan of the rights doing there to begin with. Looks like something from that little shop of horrors I've been watching. Ever notice that, feller? Now that I think about it, it actually does. I kind of wonder if someone informed Rick Moranis that one of his plants made into a Capcom game. Oh yeah, well, sooner or later, feller, I'm gonna turn this feller into a play himself. That's right, he's gonna turn himself into one big vegetable, and I'm gonna be putting him in the dirt, I reckon. That reminds me of the time Curly ate dirt thinking he was Paul Rudd from Ant Man. And there you go, we been feathers. Don't you stinky Peterson was gonna take this one. I'll tell you, if I was in a rock band feller, they call me Aerosmith because I'm back in the saddle again. Okay, now we're gonna be fine against this blue haired cat girl, which I'm not gonna lie, I find that kind of weird, disturbing, and only enough cute for what it is. Well, I'll tell you, them Japanese sure have some weird fetishes. I mean, actual girls thinking they're actual cats. I'm to think the school girls kind of have weird when they date those creepy tentacle monsters, I reckon. Uh, I mean, no, no offense to those who actually enjoy those things. Uh, I mean, if you're into them, more power to you than all feller, but really, I just never really got the whole cat girl thing, I reckon. Can you honestly imagine Lila as a cat? Trust me, Stinky, you would be all over her in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, I will actually give you that, feller. Cats are cute. Lots of all the meowing going on in the background, feller. Those cats in the backyard better not be taking me the heck off, or else I'm getting the sanction on them. Stinky, that's just music in the game. There are no cats outside. Are you sure, feller? Maybe you need to go outside and check just a minute know if you're right. I don't have to, Stinky. I know there are no cats because none of them come to your house. Well, it won't matter anyway since we put Felicia back in the cat house where she belongs, feller. Did I ever tell you the time Harold took a cat hostage? Yeah, I watched y'all go down when I was around 8, or maybe I was around 9, I don't know. I'll tell you, feller, Harold must have had a strange addiction to cats. It was so creepy that me and Sid caught him dressed like one at one time. We had to get him therapy for a good three weeks, and now he can't keep one in his house anymore, feller. I mean, can you honestly blame Harold? He left that cat so much until Arnold had to give him up to that old lady. Really kind of scarred him for life. Won't be compared to a gentleman me I find, though. It would be strange if there was an alternate universe where a female version of me actually existed. Can you really imagine that, failure? Well, if I did, I bet she'd be named Stinkhead. Oh, uh, now that really wouldn't ring a bell, failure. But Stacy Pearson would fit me well like a glove, I reckon. And look at that, we're already winning, failure. That's right, we're on the roll, and we ain't stopping. Oh, well, looks like Sakura's winning. She just outsmarted you. Or maybe she's just training and not playing fair. 
something that yours truly would never do, fella. I'm at least hard working with custom my gameplay and skills. Look at this, why are we coming back? Oh well, there's surely bots! Oh, there's cool things you can pull a fast one on stinky, huh? Well, let me tell her something. You can take the country out of the boy, but you definitely can't take the boy out of the country. And I'm gonna make sure this soccer feller gets out of my country, plain and simple feller. You know, while they're at it, maybe they should get rid of that barbacle song too. I don't you can't even stand that song, let well, alone well, losing my dad got mine, only after hearing only five seconds of that song itself, failure. You're just grouchy you didn't get to go to that Barbenheimer double feature. Hey, it's not like I got walked to in the first place, feller. I didn't have any money anyway. I had to spend the rest of my money to buy me a ton of lamb and pudding. I swear, you really need to lay off that stuff, Stinky. It's unhealthy. Oh, well, like, you're the one to tell me how to live my life, feller. Take a look at that. We got our good, feller. I got her good just like that one time I got that first McRib the first day it returned. Alright, it's done, feather. Thank goodness. That puts another feather down for the count. In fact, they consider me the Muhammad Ali of puzzle games, feather. I'm simply the greatest. Well, how on earth did we get two bad girls in this game anyway, feather? Stingy, that's a sucky, but it's not a bat girl. But she's got bat wings on her head, fella. Therefore, I'm right. Case closed. Go sip your tea and stay zipped while you watch me put another fella in the dirt. It's kind of nice they included Rob Van Dam in this game, though. Although I can't explain why he got that skull hall haircut. Looks very baffling, though, fella. Once again, you're an idiot, Stinky. That's actually Donovan. You're wrong, feller. You can clearly say that it's Rob Van Dam, but Capcom couldn't use his real name due to some licensing issue, so they just had to call him Donovan. They kind of gave him that name only because they wanted to market a game for the little ones that didn't want to hear that last name, all because it sounds so much like a cuss word, I reckon. Well, anyway, while we're at, fella, I want to tell everyone the story how Master Shaman sat on a pair of thumbtacks currently glued to the sea at class at one time, screamed so loud that he tripped and landed smack dab on Arl's desk while trying to get the tacks off his butt, and it got more funny when he started running out of the classroom and slipped on the wet floor, and then with a broken nose that man sounded like that Squidward fella. I really don't remember that happening in the show. Well, it's only because you weren't there when it happened, fella. Trust me when I say I have a full graphic mind on what's going on. I should also tell you that about that time Harold threw a fit after losing to Lila in that Mega Man soccer game. You know, out of the all the soccer games, she was the only girl in the neighborhood to ever have a copy of the game. I think we were spared the trouble knowing how much it sucks, feller. I definitely can't blame Lila for her questionable choice in games, considering the fact that her dad brought the game for Christmas after getting that paycheck that one time. I tried beating the game myself. Lila, dad gonna beat me too. Yeah, just like Donovan's beating you now. I always believe in miracles, feller. I gotta have a comeback in the works. You just wait and see, feller. Don't you dare give up on me now! <laughs> With so much for your so-called comeback, you're already dead! So much for being the Muhammad Ali of puzzle games! Hey, you just locked out like that Sakura fella! That's all! If I told you once like I told you in all my playthroughs, luck only counts in horseshoes, feller. Now, well, thankfully, I never have luck in all when I play horseshoes. I use natural talent because I'm good at the game, feller. Now, Oscar, he wasn't very lucky, though. 
He tried to play it the first time. He threw his shoulder so bad he faced playing all to the dirt. But it wasn't all that bad for him though. He used it as an excuse not to work where his wife Susie told him to, feather. Milk thy injury for a good two months until Ernie found out he was playing poker with his feathers using two working arms two weeks after that incident. Cause a big fire in that house had to be separated for a while. I swear it was almost like watching the Jerry Springer show, feather. I miss Jerry Springer though. Rest in peace, feather. You know, this wasn't going to be the game I was originally going to be playing for this playthrough, feather. I was originally going to be playing Street Fighter for the arcade, but Sagat legit chasing that game so dang much, I rage quit about 50 damn gun times. Even when I tried to beat him on easy mode, he just cooks you alive. I've gone so mad, I nearly came this close to yanking the PS4 out of the TV and throwing it in the window for real, feather. And I had to let you hold you down for a good 10 minutes from doing so. I don't want you throwing things out of my house, they ain't yours, Stinky. I really wasn't gonna do that anyway. You already admitted in air that you were. I swear, if your hands ever get near my PS4, I will throw every cup of lemon pudding you have out of this house and stomp on it until the cats go lick it up. Well, jeez, fella, what crawl up your butt today? Nothing stinky. Just finish your game already. You already got me peeled as it is. Well, I'm glad I'm doing a good job of that. I swear, failure. This guy is scaring me around for my money. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back from this, failures. He might have his round unless I turn things around, I reckon. Okay, that just may be the momentum we need, feathers. Consider that a changing of the guard, feathers. Oh yeah, here, yeah, feather. You ain't getting your hands on my lemon pudding either. And I'm gonna make sure that little girl with you ain't gonna get some too. You know, I never understand what's with that girl, feather. Looks like that one girl that Pepsi commercial, the one that turned out to be Jesse Eisenberg's sister. Oh great, I'll lose again, fellas. This really bites. All the best stuff I have against him, and he still whips me like the government mule. You know, I'm lucky for him. I got Scrooge McDuck course to go around, so this ain't over until Stinky Peterson says it's over. You know, while we continue on, feller, might as well throw some shout-outs to my good fellers as always, like Arnold, Gerald, Sid, Rhonda, Eugene, since he did puzzle and rhythm games like Dance Dance Revolution. I figure those games are pretty much good for him, considering the fact he plays the daily at school. And you wonder why he's a pain man. His hospital bills are so far up his butt, it's a miracle he's even alive at all. How about that? By the way, it's nice to see Boo from Super Mario show up here in the game. You sort of see him in the background trying his best to tickle the back of this feather's head. I swear, we're getting a whole lot of cameos so far out of the butt tonight, I reckon. I think we may be looking to win this feather. Getting close to it, it seems, I reckon. You know, it's funny how the way the feather is coming out of his mouth like that. You think he's getting turned off by his own bad breath or something. That fella really needs to pop up some Tic Tacs because I bet his breath is so bad it can make Arnold's grandpa croak. I'm very serious, feather. You see that little girl standing alongside with him like I mentioned a long time ago? She's just begging in her mind to leave already so she can get away from him and his rotten breath, feather. I think her name is Anita. How would you know who she is anyway, fella? I know since I actually played the entire Darkstalkers trilogy from beginning to end. You sort of act like you don't even know her or something. Well, sometimes short-term memory loss will do that to a fella like me. 
At times I remember stuff and sometimes I do. It's all confusing, fella. Anyway, we're still in this fight. We might as well be like Rocky because we're pushing this fella and his dog poop breath to the limit. Hoping we don't get inhaled and throw up all around, I reckon. If we did that, we would be nauseated, fella. Just imagine the pepto bismol we have to consume as a result. We well, don't try pepto bismol though, fella. It tastes like bubble gum with a weird aftertaste that doesn't even taste like bubble gum at all, fella. I tried that once when I was sick. Didn't make me feel better at once. I was pretty let down, fella. So let down that when I eventually got better, I demand my pharmacy to get me a refund for my pepto bismol. Turns out the fella I called was some guy who was yelling out, I don't know who you are, stop calling me. I'm telling you, I don't remember ever calling this fella over and over again in the first place. Must have been the wrong number, I reckon. You know, it's times like these, I don't even know why our neighborhood gets poor phone reception. They're about time we got them, feller. Man, that was sure a waste of my daggum time. Probably feeling stale like a bowl of lemon pudding now. Oh nice, now we're fighting against the guy with the bandits on his chin. I'm guessing you saw her cut himself shaving because that's what it looks like from here, feller. You know, I'm honestly confused looking at the background for his level here. I can't even possibly tell if this is either New Orleans or pretty much Metro City from that Final Fight game, I reckon. I mean, it could probably be Final Fight knowing they fight in the boardwalk just like this one, feller. Although it could be New Orleans because the villains I see in this game looks like something you can actually see in New Orleans itself, feller. I think I would really like to know for myself, I reckon. Probably test out some Cajun food because I heard it's pretty much busting over there. Now as you see, feller, we're cleaning this feller's clock mighty good at this point. I think we can smell a narrow wind in our hands, I reckon. Either that or he's trying to cover up his face from that awful bad breath that one feller we had in that last match. Feeling mighty good here. Haven't felt this good since all can eat lemon pudding day down at school that one time. I ate so much I blew chunks all over Iggy and got sent home as a result. It was all worth it, feller. Y'all remember Iggy, right? He was that kid with the bill haircut and that glasses we have in our school. The same kind of kid that forced Arnold to wear those bunny pajamas in public as a way to uh, humiliate and embarrass him. Y'all remember that, Lucas? I did, and I totally wanted to climb inside that TV screen and beat the crud out of you, Sid, and Harold for spilling out Iggy's secret like that. It was totally uncalled for. In fact, it was so bad that nobody wanted to remember in the first place. It was so bad that Iggy was never seen again. Heck, I don't think Arnold ever forgave him to this very day. Well, sorry to say I don't blame you, Lucas. That was the worst mistake we ever did. I assume if we were the ones dressed up like bunnies, you'd find pleasure in me saying Harold getting humiliated. Believe you me, Stinky, I would. We almost caught this feather, though. All I need is, a, all I need is one last red orb to crush those, all those gems, and we... Oh, this ain't good. Oh, what? That was ridiculous, feller! I was nothing more than a fluke wearing the sky has. Highway robbery ass best, feller. I don't even know if he can even rob highways in the first place. Where are his pockets? And what it will look like is the one thing. I swear, feller, I will never understand expressions that make no sense at all. It's like over hearing someone say he takes a cake. When I clearly see that there's no cake to take at all. That expression is nothing more than a lie. If it was made true, feller, I'd like to actually see an actual cake for somebody to take so I can at least get the expression. You know, just talking about cake is really getting me kind of hungry, feller. 
Think I'll go get me some after this whole entire playthrough is over and done with, feller. I bet they got some lemon bug cake down in that bakery downtown, feller. But you know what would be even better, fellers? Lemon bug cake with flaming pudding filled inside. That would take my money any day. That's what, that's all you freaking talk about. Lemon pudding this and lemon pudding that. If you like that stuff, go marry it for all I care. Heck, if you want, you and that lemon pudding can go have a kid together. I bet that would make you satisfied. Is that even legal in the state, feller? Never mind, forget I said that. Actually, if anything else, you really got me a treat, feller. I like to read an article of an actual guy getting married to Pudding for real. Those reactions would be so far up the butt, feller. Those one ass heck Republicans would have a field day with that one, I reckon. Yeah, I bet they would. Oh, this really bats. This seriously really daggum bats. Just when I think I have him against the ropes, he could he just comes and chief shots me like he's all there in a bag of pork rinds, I reckon. Stinky, it's all that in a bag of chips. You know what I mean, feller. Don't be trying to put words in my head. You know, although you really kind of gave me a good idea of an all that sketch, that would have made sense if you had watched it. Well, watch that, Locus. If the cast of all that was shown holding an actual bag of chips for everyone to see, that would make the expression even more sense. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, feller, that would make it even more sense. Thanks for bringing that up. You know, that's what I like about you, Lucas. You may be a pain in the butt, but you're a swell failure. Swell enough to even give me a series on this child that just came back. I try not to flatter myself too much, but thanks, dude. Much appreciated. I think you're about to appreciate me more when I beat this fella right down to the ground, I reckon. Oh yeah, we're taking this limb. We're taking this guy to the limit one more time, fella. Oh wow, that's gonna be a big one, fella. You ain't gonna be catching up. About time my dad gun be him, fella. Oh jeez, fella, this game wasn't all that hard when I owned it on PlayStation. This one really kicks my butt, fella. But well, that's what you have to expect in games like these, feller. You gotta keep on pushing until you reach the top. Alright, now we're gonna be fine the back girl. It's gonna be good. Stinky for the last time. She's a succubus. Not a back girl. Succubus. It's just two different things, Stinky. Don't be fooled by the bat wings on her head. Just because she has them, that doesn't make her a back girl. Okay, okay, I get you now, feller. She's a succubus. It's bad enough I never knew what she was concerned the fact that I didn't play the first Dark Stalkers game. You know, look at her. She's really kind of pretty, don't you think? I wonder what Olga Pataki would look like dressed up as her. I guarantee you Helga would have knocked you out kind of come at the thought of that. Okay, and blame me, feller. Everybody in town got the house for her. She brings a whole lot of that risk. Oh, man. I literally cannot believe we have a first time in the history of Stinky Pearson Place where I hear you say the word Riz on live. I think it's a new hip lingo everybody's saying this day's failer. I'm inherent wrong to say the word Riz every time she bears how pretty she is. Well, can you blame her? She's rich. Well, there she is, feller. There she is. They also forget to tell you that she still has a high score to pack mania to this very day, feller. I just won a neighborhood with a total of 500,000 points, feller. She would have gone further if Curly didn't try to sneak in the kiss and cost Rhonda the whole entire game. She legit pushed him all the way to that produce section, feller. Got a busted lip because of that incident. Even to this day, she, he still smiles at the fact he got punched by a pretty girl, feather. 
I swear that feller's a weirdo. I totally like the way this girl's hair flows down like that. Kinda of makes me wish a father could do something like that to her hair instead of the ponytail she wears every day, I reckon. Believe it or not, fellers, Lila gets confused for the Wendy's mascot every time she walks in public. When I think about Lila, I think about Wendy's all of a sudden to the point I just want to eat there already. Their chili is actually dang good. Put two hot chili sauces on there. It's a match made in heaven, I reckon. Okay, we can all agree that their chili is pretty dang good. Yeah, you're just spitting facts there, stinky. Well, I know I am, feller. I mean, can you blame me? Can you honestly blame me for having to like chili way more than I do lemon pudding, feller? I think that's um, no surprise at all, Stinky. I think she's got you good, Stinky. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna see about that, feller. There's a whole lot of tricks in my sleeve. You never imagined what would happen until now, feller. Yeah, I get wrecked, feller. How you like that, Lucas? Put the nail on her coffin. I really gotta say, that's impressive. Well done, Stinky. And there's about to be more, feller. Alright, we're finding the one with the legs this time around. Better than Gerald's head, I reckon. Oh, look at that! There's Monkey Man riding all cloud. They didn't know he was in this game, too, feller. I'll tell you, that feller gets around. Blue or not, fellers, Monkey Man also happens to be a skilled board game player. I reckon he's the only feller I know is undefeated at Clue. Never lost a game since. Well, there was this one incident where Sid played against him in the game of Clue once. He accused him of cheating on the fact that Monkey Man saw Sid put Miss Scarlet rope and kitchen onto the evidence car behind Sid's back, feller. Monkey Man tried to clarify that he didn't look at the cars, but Sid snapped so much he flipped over the game board and knocked Phoebe unconscious, feller. And now, we can't allow Sid to play Clue anymore as a result. I don't know why on earth that feller is my friend in the first place. I swear, your friend's got problems. And the thing looking at his popsicle nose was disturbing. But trust me, feller, you don't know the half of it. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, Stinky, this coke tastes horrible. Well, that's not coke, feller. What the heck is it then? That's actually liquid chewing tobacco. Oh, oh dear lord. Well, that feller's gone. Oh, and by the way, fellas, that wasn't actually chewing tobacco. That was actually cold decaffeinated black coffee he was drinking all along, feller. Also, I had to hit a saw and onion powder to make it believable, I reckon. Well, thank Terry Belayer for that little trick he gave to that Hibiki TMD feller that one time. I definitely learned from the best, feller. Oh, they ain't going good here, feller, but you know what? We still got it under control. Oh man, all we need is like a big red orb or a big blue orb to get the job done, and now of course we'll be good to go for the final stage, wherever that's gonna be. Yeah, there we go, shade by the bell, feller. Just need one more here. Check yourself out, feather. Stanky Scott this. I told you Stanky Pearson had this from the beginning, and y'all doubted me. I'll tell you, feather, nobody's gonna be down in this country, boy. Alright, final stage. 
I swear we're gonna be fine down. One of my favorite characters, fella. I swear he's just so goofy with what he does. Uh, well, wait, what just happened, fella? I was just standing there to find for one minute, and the next thing I know, this man man with the red hair just legit kicks him off like dad damn trash. I swear I wasn't prepared for this, fella. Well, it looks like we're gonna have no choice but to give it our best. We're almost at the finish line, and this guy is gonna be a hurdle we gotta jump over, fella. Kinda like his fair skin, though. He's got that big pop attacking sunburn deep down to a T. Just realized not, that not too long ago, fella. Huh, Buck's angry too. You know, looking at this fella, he kinda reminds me of the stoop kid. I kinda wonder if he gave Harold that butt whooping he deserved for trashing him, I reckon. <sighs> I'll tell you, if that was the case, I guarantee you it definitely would not be a priest, I reckon. I definitely wouldn't want to be in Harold's shoes for the fun of it. Thank goodness I'm not. Oh great, he daggum chewed me off, fella. So much for having to be in the first try. You know what? It ain't going down like that, fella. non stinkies house, definitely non stinkies neighborhood. This only ends when Stinky Pearson says it ends. And this Akuma feller definitely needs to check himself before he wrecks himself, I reckon. As usual, fellas, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you like the videos look as heck at this. If you want to give very special shoutouts to his fellers, you need to subscribe to like Rick C, Sean Ware Gaming, the Mr. Loose Network, Alex Soto, and even Tornado Pro Wrestling if you're a big fan of that wrestling stuff. Yeah, pretty good fellas if I do say so myself. I wonder if they kind of like live and put in like, um, Lucas does, although I'm not pretty sure if he enjoys that stuff like I do. If he hasn't tried it for the first time, maybe I'll try to find a box for it somewhere at Walmart so that he can try some. I mean, it's about that gum time he tries too, okay? It's been way too long. He just needs to try new things in this world. I mean, it's not always about that chocolate and pudding or whatever the stuff he pretty much eats nowadays. I don't know, I, I hardly question that guy's eating habits to a T. Oh, this ain't going good. Oh, dang it, fella. That, that totally wasn't even close there. Totally sucked up, fella. Totally my fault. But I guarantee you no more mistakes will be made, fella. I may have been down one time, heck, maybe even two times, but I'll be dying if I'm going down for a third time, fella. I reckon y'all this, this country boy will survive. We're doing this. This is the crunch hour, fella. We just gotta work fast and go fast. Gotta make sure we play this fella at his own game, I reckon. Just gotta be like the Eagles and take it easy. I'll tell y'all, it's kind of a shame that guy from the Eagles died Wednesday. I'm telling you, my pappy was a dang old Eagles fan, I reckon. Had a, a lot of their albums. I was like, oh, we got him good. We got him good, fella. I'm the puzzle overlord. Therefore, I am. King Kong ain't got nothing on Stinky Peterson. All right, we got first, fella. Time to put my name in the Hall of Fame. If I can at least get the yes, because I have no idea what, what the heck I'm doing. Oh! Haha, ha, he fell down the hole, fella. Yeah, you deserve it for being a cheat. Okay, here we go. Stanky. Hercules. 
Pearson. There you go, signed, sealed, delivered, just like Stevie Wonder, I reckon. And with that on the way, that's another episode of Stanky Pearson Plays in the Books, fellas. I want to thank all my feathers for watching me pull off my perfect puzzle skills like a boss ever should. Way better than Lucas, I reckon. Thank goodness he isn't here otherwise. He chewed me out for saying I was a better puzzle master than him. Which we all know, that's true. And yes, if you want to know, the next fail will be Stinky Pearson Plays, AEW, Fight Forever. It'll be one of my best episodes there ever is. It's sure to be fun, I reckon. More fun than lemon pudding. Till next time, this is Stinky Pearson reminding everyone that this game really doesn't bite. Later, fellas.